Hello everybody, welcome back to the shop. Oh, from the front side. Okay guys, now, uh, I'm taping off the light blue. Okay, here's another trick for your magazines, your old magazines. Okay, let's see. I can do this and show you. Bam! Piece of tape, string it across the page, bam, tear it off. Now I got a big old paint masker over there, but I tell you, just for a bunch of little pieces, I don't think this is the way to go. I took the wing off, I'm going to do it separately, and you just take some masking tape and do these areas that you couldn't get. Bang. Bang. Just like a soul. Just a lot of so it's a lot of taping like this. But I tell you, you get a nice soft edge without no overspray. That's what see you can get out here with a uh airbrush and all it don't matter. Airbrush don't cover enough paint and you see the paint lines. And it'll also spit over spray on your other side too. You know, I've tried airbrushing camo and it just don't work out too good. You know, it just don't look right. You gotta use a paint, a big paint gun so you can put on a wet coat. Oh, we get this new neighbor over here. You know, I was telling y'all we had a house for sale. People who bought it got two Corvettes. They sit there and go, rum, rum, rum. I don't know what they're doing over there. They do it all the time. I don't know if they're working on them or what. And since they live at the end of the cul-de-sac, I guess they think it's all right to vroom down this street 45 mile an hour. <laughs> vrooming in their driveway. Well, I ain't gonna say nothing. There's a lot of kids around in this neighborhood. Not, you know, it's just ain't the place, you know, speed limit's 20. <laughs> ain't the place to be hot rodding and they do it all the time. I ain't said nothing though. Don't want them to cook. <laughs> if I had my, if my kids were still little, I would. I'd go over there and knock on the door, please. Drive with a little more caution in this neighborhood, but I don't want them. <laughs> I don't understand why they got to sit out there and go vroom for an hour, though. They do it all the time. Anytime it's halfway nice out, you can hear them 
Corvettes. Well, I don't want them saying nothing when I go out there and run my jet motor shut <laughs> So you gotta pick your battles. You know what I mean? Main thing here, this first layer don't matter so much about if you got a little hole in your tape or something because you got to do all the colors again anyway. Well it's gonna be nice for a couple days. is done. take out of here. Oh, that was pretty mellow. Usually they hot rod it out of the neighborhood. <laughs> Got to pick your battles. Well, here it comes flying back in though.
for me to turn around. Okay. Guys, and I want to have my F4 A4 finished up, and hopefully have that ready to fly in the next week or so. Will be an exciting month. Yes. Bam! Bam! Just like so, Joe. Oh, I'll get the most use out of that paper and less amount of cut. It costs a lot. We only got so many pages. <laughs> Let's 
just another way to get rid of your old magazine, see? I know people that save them. I know people that used to think they was worth something. <laughs> Ain't worth nothing but the cost of scrap paper, baby. That's all they're worth. Especially nowadays, they used to have some cool stuff in them. Planes and stuff, you know. I don't do that so much anymore. Guys, how about that Super Bowl? Yeah, baby. I told you. Look out for that Tom Brady. That guy is a robot, man. He is a football playing machine. What that guy does is score touchdowns. <laughs> you know? And... Uh, Alright man, and let's see old Marshawn Lynch grabbing his crotch and stuff at the other players when he scored. That is just so unsportsmanship in my book. They had it coming. And that guy at the end, just the ball fell in his lap. <laughs> oh, he was in, oh no. Then it was the interception, you know, but here's what I think about that play call, that pass play. You know, everyone in the world just knew Marshawn Lynch was going to get that football. And, you know, he don't do that good on the one-yard line. He's only scored one out of five attempts on, from the one. So that, that, was, that was not a gimme play. Don't you think New England didn't have some big boys on that line <laughs> ready to stop him? But if that if he would have caught that ball and made that touchdown, it would have been the best call in football history. But since he got an interception, it was the worst, absolute worst call in football ever. You know, and that's just how that stuff goes, man. I mean, it could have went, if he would have caught that 